Ooh. fish right there, Mitchells, Mitchells. Beautiful walleye up here at Sturgeon Bay. Not getting a ton of them today, but uh, we'll take them all that look like that. We probably need an intro. We can do an intro in the truck too. Uh, I like it more this way. Huh? Are we rolling or everything right now? What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. We are up here in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. It's me. We got Mitchells with. Mitchells, say some words. <laughs> It's my first time being here, so it's actually kind of exciting. And uh, Tom promised me that I was gonna absolutely love it here, so we'll see. We'll see if I love it. Well, it is cool. Green Bay is a cool place to fish. You have one side that's kind of shallower, sandier, south end's kind of shallower. And you get up here towards Sturgeon Bay, Door County more, deep, clear, rocky water. So it's kind of a lot of complexity, a lot of different stuff you can fish in the same area. So generally, Mitchell, what I like to look here, well, maybe we'll get into what kind of we're looking for in a little bit, but um, it's super windy out today. Again, I feel like every single day this spring's just been big wind, and we got to make a little run to catch some fish for sure. So um, strap in. That's kind of the plan. We'll probably be throwing a couple of different things this morning here. We kind of got three things tied on right here to get the, the get the day kind of rolling. Acme V rod, rip and wrap, big plastic right there. So that's kind of our starting lineup right there on some beautiful Elliott rod. And uh, in a second here, hopefully we'll be catching some fish, but stay tuned. We're gonna get to poking around, see if we can't find a few of these fish and then catch a few of these big Sturgeon Bay walleyes. Also, I, was gonna I think say I forgot. exciting thing that we uh, have going on today. <laughs> also, I forgot, we have a very short amount of time today, <laughs> don't we, Mitchell? Yeah, we have the seminar at the Appleton Shields location tonight. So yeah. uh, we don't have a full day of fishing, do we? Yeah, my brain's going way too fast right now. But tonight we have um, a seminar, which we're doing at Shields. The walleye now seminar breaking down a ton of walleye fishing content so we're going to kind of just film the whole day only got a couple hours to fish and we didn't get up early this morning so it's kind of that mid-morning time frame now got a couple hours to fish then we get on the road to appleton shields to deliver an awesome seminar talk to a whole bunch of you guys and uh yeah but i'm gonna shut up like i said we got fishing to do for now we hopefully want to catch a few fish before we get out of here let's go Fish on, Mitchell, fish. Right, right there. I'm gonna grab a net for you. Yeah, I don't think we got a super big one here. No. Right. Hopefully it's not a white fish. It is a walleye, Mitchell. He's not 10 pounds. No, he's not. But, but my gosh, close. did he ever eat the blade bait? Oh, he's kind of right at the maximum size of boat flipping. There we go. Fish number one up here in Sturgeon Bay. Look how we ate that thing. Gone, Mitchell, just gone. To be honest with you, I was assuming I was it was gonna be more weight when I lifted up on the first one of the day <laughs> than this, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. Quit complaining. And somewhere is better than nowhere. At least you're dry. Yeah, at least I'm dry. Get them popped off. Man, I love that blade bait up here in that clear water. There we go. Little male to start, but. We'll work our way up, I think, Mitchell. We'll work our way up. Mitchell, fish Little on, fish? boy. Right nice. off the bottom. How's it feel? I don't know, probably a little better than the first one. See what we got. What do we got here, Mitch? I think it's a pike. Oh, it's a little musky up here. A little musky, holy crap. There we go. I got one, no time. Oh man, Mitchell's got one. What do we got, Mitchell? <laughs> this one feels like an actual wall right here. All right. Oh, mine just bit me off. A little musky. I had a little musky on. If you guys are wondering why I no longer have rain gear on, it's because... Uh, Mitchell got his pants finally, wet this morning. Yeah, finally got wore out enough to uh, get completely soaking wet. Ooh, nice wall. Oh, nice nice wall here. How weird is that, Mitchell? You drift a long ways, get a musky and a walleye. Yeah. Just like that. Finally bumped up a little shallow. Found some nice warm water, didn't we? Yeah, we actually kind of came out of some warmer water, which is kind of weird, but. We came out of it, huh? But we, we're spot locked here now. Maybe the players. Yeah. 
There you go. I gotta get another bait on, cause yeah, I got bitten off. I was kind of fighting him like a dork, though. Yeah, you were. Guy is a dork. Yeah. Yep, yep. Show him off. Show him off. Ooh, I almost fell. All right, guys, take a look. Finally, finally on the board. Not very big, but hopefully, the, you know, the majestical. You like that word, Tom? Sure. The majestical. The majestical 13 pounder is awaiting to bite my bait. Kind of a slow grind right now, but. Yes, it is. We're just kind of covering some water, looking for some fish. Mitchell's got the old ripper wrap on. I got the old blade bait on. And if it takes us all day to catch 10, we'll fish all day for 10 fish. Mitchell. What it takes. We're on. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to give you the breakdown right now on what we're doing out here today. You want to take it away, Tommy? Take sure. Away, Tommy, go We're ahead and take it away. We're doing big passes down hard to soft train. Or <laughs> We're doing big passes down a lot of these rock to sand transitions. So much of the shoreline super rocky that, um, you know, we're trying to stand, stay right in this transition from rock to sand. But basically, kind of as we're making passes here, Mitchell, um, if when we catch fish, we're just dropping waypoints. And a lot of times, sometimes you could see those fish if they're in thick rock, you're probably never really going to see them. But kind of as we're doing, and this is really unfocused right now, we'll focus it a little bit more. But kind of as we're doing a bunch of these big drifts, like boom, boom, there's two fish right there. And as you kind of work your way down the screen more, as we do these big drifts, we're, you know, boom, another waypoint right there. And a lot of times when you're setting up these big drifts, um, you know, you might find that, you know, there's a pot of fish right here, 200 yards down farther, pot of fish right there. And that's really what we kind of try to map out on a lot of these drifts, where there's fish. I have a bad reputation for going waypoint crazy, just dropping waypoints on anything. But a lot of times when you're making these big passes, whether that's a trolling pass or a big drift, drop waypoints wherever things get good. Maybe it's wherever you catch two fish, boom, boom. Today we're obviously not catching a lot of fish yet, uh, but kind of anywhere we have good things happening or looks good, drop waypoints. And a lot of times then we just kind of minimize that big area that we're drifting and shorten it down to an area that's like that big. So that's kind of what we're trying to do right now and still trying to hone in on a few more fish. Fish Mitchell, right there. Ooh, nice. Yep, it's feeling right. Feeling right. Feeling right. On the swim bait. What do we got? Oh, it is a white fish. Oh. Wow, Mitchell. Wrong one. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of everything going on now. Yeah, we do. We have now caught walleyes. Lost a musky. Caught a white fish. And this thing at first was feeling all right, and then it's just it started to do a head shake every half a second, and then you're like, oh, could be a white fish. But he did eat the tickle tail. It is in the mouth. Big old white fish over here in Sturgeon Bay. See you later, buddy. Mitchell just lost what we think was just a mammoth of a huge fish. Yeah, but we're still kind of on the first big drift here of the day. Hoping, uh, you know, even over here, a lot of times, if you're just making big drifts and getting, you know, a few fish here, a few fish there, you can kind of have a decent day by the end of the day. Fish? Yep. Yeah, fish. Yep. Nice job, Mitchell. Hooked up, hooked up. Look at that. It's right on another waypoint, too, isn't it? Pretty dang close, isn't it? The walleye? I think so. I think so, Tommy oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Nice walleye yeah, there, Mitchell. There's another walleye. Nice little porker, though, you know? Yeah. yeah. Nice little porker. Definitely a little smaller than that one I lost, but it'll do. Yeah, Mitchell's it'll still do. a little bit sour about the last. I really am. Last really big one he came off. He just like lifted the rod and it went boom, boom, boom. That's a fish. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, dude, that's big. It's a big walleye. Oh my gosh, no, dude. Mitchell. I, just, 
I then really it was, thought it was a snag. Then it was unbelievable sense of defeat overall. Sense of what? It was just, you know, kind of like we, we both just felt a little defeated. Oh, yeah. After, uh... Yeah. I think we were both pretty quiet for a little while, but here we go. Yeah, Mitchell Fine. cried. Oh, I almost fell. Oh. Okay, got my balance. Finally back on the board. Not big, but we'll take it. We'll take it. I'm just pitching over this uh, number six rip and wrap. You got a jig and plastic on still? I got jig and plastics, Mitchell. I got the blade bait. I got everything the walleyes could want and desire. Yep. And they're biting not much, not much right now. I did wing one. If I can just plug it right in, it's just good to go. Yep. Fish. Right there, Mitchells, Mitchells. My GoPro on. Kind of made just a little pitch cast out the front. It is not fast and it is not fast action today, is it Mitchell? No. Grab me a net, grab me. A... It's oh, covering gosh. a lot of water and, and the wind is just really picking up, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually getting pretty gnarly. Oh out man. Here. What is it? Is it sturgeon or no, it's gonna be a walleye the way it bit. It's just coming up slow. Did you get what I was saying though? Sturgeon, right here, right here. Sturgeon Bay? I'm at leader. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Look at that guy, dude. It's probably a nice for one of the day. Yeah. Huh? Or we've caught a couple like that. It's good fish. Cannot complain about that. Not super big, you know, definitely nowhere near as big as they come out here. Still nowhere near as big as the one I lost. I st still not that over Mitchell that. Mitchell lost, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm still not over it. Look at that guy. Solid fish right there. It's a good one. On that V-Rod and Big Muddy. We'll get them popped off quick. We're gonna have to get out of here at some point here. But, got another one to go. Man, he is just not letting, hook, letting go of this one hook here. All right, guys, look at that. Beautiful walleye up here in Sturgeon Bay. Not getting a ton of them today, but uh, we'll take them all that look like that. It's as good as it gets. Big win, finding a few of these fish, popping blade baits and ripping wraps around. Too awesome, let's let that guy go. See you later, buddy. Nice fish right there. Man, are they pretty up here. There he goes. Time, hey, Tommy boy. We have you, pushed it long enough, Mitchell, for a average bite. But we gotta go get in the truck and get to Appleton Shields ASAP. I feel like we've already pushed it too long, you know, just trying to grind out a couple more bites or whatever, but overall the fishing portion of this video has been extended pretty much as long as it can be extended uh due to the fact we got stuff to do mitchell we got to feel film some stuff at shields i think we'll film a little bit of seminar stuff you know maybe meeting some people maybe talking to some people whatever just kind of a cool little day in the lifestyle video a little fishing in the morning we got another rod back here yes, One more rod yes back here. We do. as far as the fishing goes mitchell all fish were caught on a on a rip and wrap number six or a did you catch oh you, you did caught, on a blade bait two, you did i caught two on v rods that's right but uh yeah i don't know if we're just too early sometimes the water just you know takes a few days to like set up just right and fish group up a lot more i don't know somebody's probably out here catching a lot of fish today but we did not catch a ton of them but we're gonna get the Minn Kota up here batting it down for one more crazy ride through the wind well the thing is let me add to that. We are traveling around nonstop like crazy. Yeah. It's pretty hard to put together a solid 40 fish type pattern when you're bouncing body of water to body of water to body of water. Yeah, for sure. And we actually talked to a guy out here today and he was doing about like we were, you know, and I think it's just that sometimes it seems like the water doesn't set up super good. 
All right, that's up. Are you putting the rain jacket back on? Yeah, I should probably uh, put that back on since I got wet. It's one of those days it's not raining, but you need the rain jacket just for driving yeah. around. Cause I've literally been soaking wet. The big old west wind over here. Today. So with that, I guess we'll see you guys at the boat landing here. Load up quick, get in the truck, drive to Appleton, deliver seminar. Are you figuring that stuff out? <laughs> I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to be dialed all the time, Tom. You don't understand. <laughs> look at this. I'm out there look fishing. This, Mitchell's out playing with his audio all oh, the time. Who catches the biggest fish? I mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we're in the truck. Mike we Tuck. just left uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Quick little fuel pit stop for the body and soul. Mm. And uh, we're now headed to Appleton. And. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot to say. Uh, change clothes in the parking lot at the bow landing. So we're looking all professional again here. And hopefully as professional as it's really ever going to be. Are we recording on this as well? No. Okay, so <laughs> um, yeah, we've got a little drive down to the Appleton Shields. Maybe do a little shopping and then maybe do a couple videos in the store. And uh, it's a full day today, Mitchell. We're not sure if we're driving all the way back to Hayward today yeah, or if we're going to go fishing again tomorrow. Not really sure what the plan is. Yeah, I guess if... Uh we're tired afterwards we're gonna stay and fish another day so I'm gonna be tired afterwards so we're yeah. staying and fishing I'm already tired so I guess we're fishing another day is it too hot <laughs> yeah we can't start right there I'm starting it right there I don't uh, care what you say that's not hot we have arrived in Appleton at Shields never been here before this is the first time for both me and Mitchell um, the old Appleton Shields store we're um, we're touring a whole bunch of these obviously more dates will be released kind of as we go on but um we're here early normally i like to drink coffee for approximately two to four hours prior to the seminar just to make sure words come through my mouth at a very rapid fire pace and <laughs> that, just to make sure that nobody can even understand what i'm saying um but in all seriousness um we never said this in another video but shields has been an amazing store to kind of work with and when we created the walleye now app um we wanted to have some kind of like physical you know almost kind of like front where people could be like be in a store shopping and like oh my gosh this is what tom was talking about this is what mitch was talking about all that kind of stuff and shields has been amazing to work with on this and shields really as we kind of you know we only ever went to one shields all the time and it was two hours from our house so traveling around to all these different shields will store amazing store number one great people that work there the people there are better than any other retail store hands down mitchell yeah by far honestly it's, by it's far there's really no rehearsal to any of this so we're just talking yeah, right now it's been a fun experience i'm actually this is this would be the third shields i've ever been to like our hometown one that this will be the second one that we're traveling to for the seminar i'm excited to hit the other you know seven eight whatever we have and just like yeah. check them all out yeah awesome store highly recommend getting into shields for all your sporting good stuff and you know we don't it's not like there's some huge you know, thing in place where I have to be pumping shields and videos or anything like that. But awesome store to partner with, and we're so thankful for them uh, helping us. I do have one thing to say to shields: stop taking my money. All right, guys. As we're walking around shields, I came up with a little idea of my own here, and I think you guys are going to appreciate it. I told Tom right now if he had a choice between three things that he could choose to fish with, three baits. Yeah, no, any, any, yeah, well, for this time right now, April, May, whatever, opening weekend, sure. Three baits, doesn't matter if it's a river, natural lake, reservoir, doesn't matter. He's gonna pick right now. Uh, he's got shields to pick from. Ready? Let's do it. Ready? Go. Mitchell says three presentations three. for early spring slash spring time frame. So, obviously, no spring time frame is complete without jigs. Guy needs a jig. You can do a lot with a jig. You can fish a vertical with a jig. You can pitch a jig. You can bomb cast a jig. You can put it with a jig and a minnow. You can do a lot of things with a jig. Can't zoom so in there. if I'm fishing a lot of, um, let's say like really skinny water, if I'm fishing a natural lake or I'm fishing a lot of depths of eight feet and less early spring, I want to fish light. I want to fish floaty and I want to fish finesse. Eighth ounce, boom, eighth ounce, Google Eye jig, something like that right there in that eighth ounce. And the reason you want that thing wispy and floaty early in the spring is because these fish strike zone shrunk down a lot water temp on a lot of our opening systems and whether in Wisconsin or Minnesota is going to be in that low 40 or even upper 30 degree range depending on where you're at in the state um, and I like that slow floaty finesse pull early in the season when the water is cold 
jigging a minnow, jigging a fathead, jigging a shiner, a couple of my favorites. If you're fishing more of that, I would say 10 to 15 foot range, or if you're just fishing a lot of wind, or if you're in a river system, there's a little bit of current, quarter ounce. But for the most part, eighth ounce, quarter ounce, pretty much my go-tos this time of year in the early spring time frame. Now, if we go over to my second option here, Mitchell. Number two. What do you guys think it is? What do you guys think it is? I knew it, I knew it. Second option, plastic. You can pair it with the jig. It pretty much works everywhere. Now, this is a 3.8 inch Kalen's Tickle Tail. Use a ton of these. Now, the biggest one, which I'm not seeing any right here right now, they might be sold out, would be the 2.8. If you're an inland lakes guy, if you fish for a lot of the walleyes that a lot of us are targeting, um, you know, where huge walleyes don't exist everywhere, um, we, the 2.8 inch it's a little bit smaller a little bit more compact a lot of guys kind of pass on that size plastic that's like two and a half under three inches but even on a super light jig you can make that thing do a lot of different stuff you don't have to work it very hard so when you have a smaller bait a smaller paddle tail it doesn't take as much and a lot of times if you take a really big swim bait and put it on an eighth ounce head and just free fall it it's the tail is not even going to move on the swim bait so the smaller the swim bait the smaller that tail is the smaller the jig you can fish and still get that action out of it which is perfect for a lot of our pressured fish in northern wisconsin northern minnesota so can't go anywhere pretty much no matter where you're going to go in the spring without a jig and a plastic working for you and i'm so confident in those two options Mitch. i don't even need a third option to be quite honest with you but if i was going to pick a third i'd probably pick something universally that would work like a blade bait uh, like the acme v-rod or a rip and wrap or maybe a crankbait like a rapala scatter wrap or a husky jerk okay i said three now you're going to five so come on. i don't even need three but those are my <laughs> 10 options <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting ready to do the seminar down here in Appleton, Wisconsin at the Shield Store. And they're just now getting their walleye now end cap up, which we're super excited about. And I don't know if we really ever showed you guys a whole lot of this stuff on YouTube page. Put a ton of work into this, both get it. We wanted to have some kind of like physical product in the store for the app, which we spent so much time working on. So we got an end cap right in the store. And we'll kind of cut to a quick clip we did just over at St. Cloud Shields last week. But this is what these things are going to look like and kind of what they're capable of. What is going on guys? Well, we have arrived here at St. Cloud Shield store and this is my first time I've actually laid eyes on the walleye now end cap. Pretty cool looking. We got that awesome teaser video, um, which I'm sick of hearing because I've edited it so many times now. Um, but it's all right here. It goes into, so if you guys are, you know, live around a shield store, get in there, check out the end cap. The walleye goes into great detail and obviously how the app operates, what it's about and all those things. And it kind of hypes you up. Now, we also had the QR code here right on here. So if you guys are unfamiliar with how to find it, maybe you're not super savvy with your phone or with apps or all that kind of stuff. Simply take out your camera. Maybe Mitchell can even get a close up of this. Boom, there it is right there. Click on the link, there it is. There's Walleye Now. Open it up, good to go. There it is, all the information right at your fingertips. Now Mitchell, once they do that, obviously we have some incredible free videos right here. And these are all about how to set up your graph right here, how to interpret side imaging, down imaging sonar right here. Um, this is how to find new spots, depth highlighting, all those tools. Right at the bottom here, Mitchell, it's Let's Go Fishing. Can they see that good? Yep. Looks like they can see it good. Click on that. That brings you to the premium side, and that's where all the information really goes down, and uh, you can do the monthly or yearly option. But we're super excited about this, on top of just having an awesome end cap showcase of the product, which we work so incredibly hard on. We also have some of my favorite jigs on here, some of my favorite swim baits on here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it is late at night now. It is uh, almost midnight. Awesome day. We went from Sturgeon Bay catching walleyes down to Appleton, into Shields, delivered seminar, got to talk to a bunch of you guys very late now, edited the whole video up right now. But this is the life of the traveling YouTube angler. And uh, tomorrow we get back up. We try it again to go catch some more fish somewhere. I feel like we kind of left some pieces of the puzzle on Sturgeon Bay, not fully accomplished. Sometimes big body water takes a little bit to break it down, but tomorrow we're gonna try it for more. For more. Is it gonna turn into a video? I don't know, hopefully, but we'll see. But I appreciate you guys watching this one. Just kind of a little 
little you know day in the life i guess type of video a little bit of fish catching a little bit of seminar a little bit of everything hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed it we're having a blast doing a bunch of these shield seminars talking walleye now app to people we appreciate everybody downloading that so um, mitchell's behind the camera he looks exhausted i'm sure i look awful and exhausted right now but we wake up in like four hours and do it all again so appreciate you guys watching this one if you guys are not yet stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time that was just had to just be the scummiest outro of all time <laughs>